Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel! I'm super super happy because you're joining me today. It's a beautiful day today. For some reason, it's not too hot. It's already June 2023, but it feels so good. Like here in Summerlin, Las Vegas, you're elevated, so the fresh air is so good. Now, I wanted to mention that this is a single story home. I wanted to feature this. We're here in Linar. Heritage at Stonebridge, this is a guard-gated community. That means all the guests, all the people that are not living here will have to go through the guard because they check the ID. So that's extra protection for you guys. Now I wanted also to mention that there might be a chance that they'll put some appliances like laundry machines, refrigerator that are not normally included in the house because there's another house I saw here that all has those like over a million dollars they have the monogram appliances so there's another house I featured on this channel check out if you've only missed it it has the monogram appliances there it also has a lot so that is one with the casita check out the channel page Lenar, and you'll see that uh, moving ready home also now I wanted to point out guys we're only about 25 minute drive to the Las Vegas strip and uh, this is near downtown Summerlin now the fee is here $355 which will include your HOA for this community plus also the master plan fee so this is the fee there $355 a month now in addition to that you'll be paying the seed fee because here in Summerlin we have special improvement district and that is for a lot of purposes let's say you know improvements of roads public transportation schools a lot of the systems that people are using here goes to that for the development and improvement of your entire neighborhood and community and master plan of Summerlin. Now, I wanted to point out guys, this home has a beautiful facade. The selling point for this one is definitely this huge RV parking. So please don't forget, watch the video where I go inside and you'll be able to see the tall and massive RV parking. You can actually put an entire bus there, I believe, because it's just huge. Or put a basketball court if you want. Now, we will tour this together. This didn't have the appliances, as, uh, as I mentioned, but I believe they'll put it. So we'll have to clarify that. Now, the, the price is negotiable, guys, and they are offering free closing costs for a limited time. I don't know when will that last. So they are offering free closing costs here at Lenar if you buy a move-in ready. Now, we're also, they're offering some certain special financing, lockdown or buy-down of rate. So, please comment down below if you wanted to know more about those. Again, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video because you'll never know. There might be people that might be interested in buying a single-story home with an RV parking. This one is huge, guys. Please don't forget to watch the RVs parking section that I showed on the video. Also, we will include on our standard videos a lot of bonus footage such as the community so that you can see what you're getting. So watch out for the bonus footage of the community when I enter the gate and also the auto voice for the location of this community and how far it takes from the Las Vegas Strip back to your home. And then also, we're already including a bonus footage related to the shops and restaurants that you can find once you live here in Heritage at Stonebridge, Summerlin, Las Vegas, here at Lenar. Okay, this video is going to be super long because there's a lot of things I discussed here when I was walking through the house. So please enjoy the tour. Let's begin the tour. Hi there. Before we begin the tour, let me guide you on how to reach the Stonebridge community from the Bellagio Fountain. These are the amenities available in the Stonebridge community.
Okay guys, this is another bonus footage. This is the entrance of your community here, right? This is a very luxurious entrance. Okay, you have the mountain views there, the strip is somewhere there, but watch out for the bonus footage because I'm gonna show you the um, community, right? So this is how it feels, guys, when you're entering your community here, right? You have a gate. It feels luxurious here. And it's in Summerlin. I can see the um, Red Rock Mountain there. So this is Heritage at Stone Bridge by Lenore. You have double gate there, double security, right? You have a, sorry, it's just one gate, but you have a... Um, a security guard if you're a resident you have your own fab but if you're not a resident you definitely will need to go to the guard because they needed to check your id so that's how they protect the uh the uh residents here they have a guard so i hope this gave you an idea of what you are getting in your community and let's do the bonus footage for the community pool okay guys this is a bonus footage this is your clubhouse here they have outdoor spa swimming pool fitness center it's a 10,000 square feet clubhouse so for those of you guys who wanted to enjoy life after um, a day's work or maybe if you're already retired this is a very nice hangout place this is huge and it feels like you're in uh, a different city here meaning it doesn't feel like you're in vegas when you go here because it's huge and then you are surrounded with all of these mountain views so those that is the red rock already so this is gorgeous here you know if i only have the chance because my mother is not here in the u.s right but i would definitely buy one for my mom if she's here because she will enjoy this right she's gonna hang out here okay this is the clubhouse guys lots of parking free parking here right for all the residents and the guests so if you this is a 55 plus so that means you just have to um be 55 and above but your children above 19 will be able to um access this and live with you so the clubhouse operation during the weekend is up to 6 p.m so let's enter this clubhouse so on this you have a reception area here right and then on this side is their office okay i can't sorry hi how are you doing so this is their uh, clubhouse here guys so you will be able to access all of this right so they have this uh kitchen here this is a gorgeous kitchen you can use guys as part of the of the home office so this is their uh, admin office this looks like a ballroom area here i have to ask if you can uh rent this out for your parties right hi there so this is what you're getting when you buy a home here at linar let's check first what's happening here so you have a kitchenette area with some coffees right wow okay free coffee <laughs> so and then you have the refrigerator there okay this is gorgeous guys so you can hang out there and enjoy a beautiful life here in the fabulous Las Vegas. And then let me show you what you're getting, right? So you have a gym. This is amazing. There's no one here. Why is no one working out? It's Sunday, but no one is working out. I have to make sure that people have to work out. Please enjoy this, right? It's all yours. Look at this, guys. No one is here. 
And then this is your swimming pool, right? There are two swimming pools. There's one um, spa there and there's another spa there. So they're gonna pamper you with a beautiful life here. Now, this is what I like. Because when you're doing your um, treadmill, you actually have a view of the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. And let me expand this guy so that you can see what I mean. Okay guys, this is how it feels. So when you're doing your treadmill, you will be able to see the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. This is amazing. Okay. Okay guys, so that's your uh, view, right? Really nice. They have all of the equipments here. Hello guys. So definitely enjoy this guys because this is definitely one of those where so you better have to use it, right? This is an example of the men's room. There's no one here, so I was, you know, I just wanted to give you an idea of how the restroom looks like. Hello guys. See how you have a lot of a very high-end design here. You have lockers, right? No one is here, so they allowed me to film, right? Okay, really nice. You have a shower area there, right? This is a very high-end uh, uh, bathroom area. Of course, I'm just in the gentleman's, right? I can't feature the ladies. Okay, the ladies' bathroom, because uh, it's not allowed, of course. So I hope this gives you an idea of what you're getting at your bathroom area of the clubhouse. Now we're gonna go to the area of the swimming pool. Okay. So this is your swimming pool, guys. This is amazing. No one is here. Oh, there's only one actually. So imagine yourself enjoying the beautiful life of a fabulous Las Vegas local. Yeah, so good here. The mountain views are there, right? So you have a kitchen area there. So you can rent this out and make sure you serve it, right? If you wanted to use it. Right, you have a, uh, you have a barbecue area here hello guys Hi. how are you doing do you love it here Hi. you like it here yes. yeah i have clients that are buying here so oh. yeah they they love the view really nice. uh, is it really nice yeah. nice nice they like it here when i saw when i saw them they're like oh my gosh they didn't know there's such a view like this yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm Angelo. My YouTube channel is Angelo Home Tours. Oh. Yeah, so I feature homes all over Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> have a good, have fun. Yeah. Okay, so they're enjoying their uh, stay, meaning they own a home here, right? Oh my goodness, this is amazing. So we're gonna uh, take a look. A uh, this is like hanging out here. There's another pool there. Okay. So uh, I'm rushing because they're gonna, um, I'm meeting a, an agent here to show me the quick move-ins, right? So that's the reason why I'm a little rushing right now. But this is what you will get, guys. They, uh, they can't stay with you if they are above 19 years old. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of, it almost feels like it's better than a, uh, it's actually much better than a resort because this is massive guys. You just can't feel it right now, but once you go here, you'll feel this is a massive area. You have another spa area here. Imagine yourself hanging out like this and then overlooking the fabulous Las Vegas is a trip. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna expand this to see, to show you how what it means. Okay, guys, this is your view. For some reason, the sun is lighting up the entire Las Vegas strip. Right? This is gorgeous. And we're in Summerlin. This is elevated. So there's a lot more homes to be built there. If I, I would highly suggest getting that lot, guys. Because you're backing 
um, at a space and then you're overlooking the entire strip. So if you wanted to know that lot, please call me so that we can schedule to tour that lot. Because I feel like you will have a view if you put your house somewhere there, right? So your backyard is facing the strip there. Okay, so if you only wanted to build because there's no house there. Okay, you have a mountain view here. Red Rock Mountain is here, Mount Charleston is nearby. So much things to do here, guys. Okay. Okay, so this, this is your view. Another span so that you can appreciate how near it is. It's actually much nearer in appearance on when in person. This video shows it's so small, but when you go here in person, you can literally see the strip, right? Okay. Let's go back to the original setting. Okay guys, so you are getting all of this. So the couple a while ago, I retired also. They are doing their swim. They are enjoying their life. That's how I would do it if I'm already too old uh, and I don't have to worry about anything else. I'm gonna enjoy life and live like this, right? where you can enjoy the space, very peaceful. There's another view here that you can uh, enjoy, right? See how this is entirely greenery here, right? This is your clubhouse. That is the uh, pool area which we went to. And then this is the entire clubhouse here. So Red Rock is like crazy good. Okay, I'm going to expand this guy so you can see what it means. Now, there's a bevel lots there that might have views of the mountains too, right? If you want to. So let me expand this again. Okay, guys, this is the view. Red Rock Mountain is color red right now. Okay. Wow, this is fabulous. You know, it's hard to get this sometimes, this kind of view. But they're giving it already. It just makes your mind really relaxing when you're seeing this open space. Right? You see a lot of mountain views at your doorstep. Right? And this is again the, the view of this trip. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, I hope you enjoy this tour, guys, of your clubhouse because this is what you're getting for the monthly HOA fees that you're paying. And the good thing is not there's not a lot of people, so therefore, therefore, you can really enjoy it. Okay, let's go back to the original setting. Okay, so let's back. Let's go back to the. Uh... Wow, this is natural grass, guys this is going to be precious in the future <laughs> because everything is fake grass or artificial grass nowadays so, so this is natural grass and then you have a lot of seating arrangement here right okay so i couldn't go to the tennis area but there is a tennis area they said here right wow this is amazing oh it's already closed so, yeah, this one is the area where you can enter, but I feel like it's close. Yeah, it's already close. So we're we gonna go on that side. Okay. Or maybe let's go on this side so you can see what's in here on this side. There's also some speakers to enjoy, right? It's so nice. Oh, so you can access the uh, the site here too. Okay, so this is another area, guys, where you can enjoy the. Uh, is this a pickleball? I I don't know if it's a pickleball. Yeah, there is another play area here. I believe this is a pickleball. This is not a tennis court of course it's so small but this is one of those that you will get guys 
Oh, there's another area there. Okay, we're gonna go there. I wonder what is, oh yeah, this might be a pico ball then. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Okay, because I've never played pico ball. I just wanted to give you a tour, guys, because sometimes people doesn't know what they're getting on uh, when they are in a clubhouse, right? Um, without someone showing in detail what you're getting. There is, oh, this is the tennis court, okay. So there is a tennis court here, guys. Oh, I love the Red Rock Mountain. I can see the Red Mountains there. The, those mountains, they are so red right now. It doesn't justify in the video, but when you go here in person, you'll be able to see the Red Rock Mountain. Beautiful color. Okay, now we're gonna enter another section of this clubhouse. Hopefully you're still with me, guys. Comment down below if you're still watching because I wanted to show you what you're getting. Oh wow, this is really nice. Resident use only, look at this guy. So that means it's all only yours. So you can invite your friends here and play tennis. I would definitely utilize this if I'm staying here. I'm gonna use this a lot of times, maybe like weekly. Cause it's not only for fun, it's an exercise when you do tennis. It's not even just one, there are four. Wow. And then you have uh, some seating arrangement here and uh, access for your, uh, you know, if you wanted to take a bathroom or use the toilet, it's easily accessible here. Okay, why did they make this open? Now I can play tennis. Oh, this is a pickleball. Is this a pickleball? Oh no. Yeah, it is a tennis. Damn, I don't know anymore what's the difference between a pickleball and a tennis. But pickleball is becoming popular here in Las Vegas. There's another court there. What? There is a lot of court. <laughs> this court, this is like pampering everyone here. What do they think of people? They're going to play... Um, What are they thinking? That means they allocated a bunch of courts. They probably feel like there's a, a lot of people that are going to play tennis, right? Or so there's a lot of things to do here, guys. See how it's open there? It's open there. Okay. And those are the model homes, guys. So imagine once these are up for sale i'm gonna feature them again so feel free to subscribe down below so that once i feature the model home you will be able to uh see the uh the sales price right okay this is another area here where you can just relax because you have an unobstructed view of the mountains here. This is gorgeous. You know, if you're just walking, it's a large property. That's why people are going to enjoy this view, guys. Let me show it to you. Okay, so this is your view. There's a lot of mountains here in this area of Summerlin. And then the Red Rock Mountain is there. Right? It doesn't show in the, in the video for some reason. I think it's because of the lighting. But this is amazing. A lot of you see here. It's very quiet in here. It's very peaceful, you know. It's, it's something where you will appreciate once you're retiring or you just want a peaceful life, right? So nice. And the weather right now is pretty good. It's not too bad, meaning it's still um, not hot. Okay. And there's a view of the Las Vegas Strip again here, right? So there's a lot of things that you can enjoy here. You can walk here and then you can just invite your friends and say have a coffee somewhere and then just go back here, play some uh, tennis. It's going to be a great life for you guys. 
especially if you build your home with a view of like this, right? And this is a guard gated, so therefore you're even protected. Wow, Las Vegas Strip. The sun is like lighting it up. Okay. Hey guys, so this is another footage for your uh, clubhouse. So basically this actually opens at 5 a.m. and it closes at 9.45 p.m. You just have to purchase a, a key fab so that you can access it as early as 5 a.m. and then it closes as 9, at 9 p.m. The good thing also I've heard is that even if you're not uh, 55, so basically 20, 20 um, percent can buy though can buy a home here even if they are not 55 so we'll just have to check if it's still uh, available right for you to purchase if you're still within the 20 percent home ownership here okay that is just uh, an example guys okay i hope you enjoyed this bonus footage all right everybody this is the home it has this huge rv parking you can actually put your own bus here this doesn't justify in the video guys but when you go here you'll be able to see how tall this is the opening we're gonna measure once we go inside the garage right so before you go inside you have those two doors there they have this massive porch area that you can be covered and protected before you even go inside your home so we're going to try looking at this, guys. This is a nice stonework here. So basically what they've done here is that they make it like a modern type of design. Very clean looking lines, right? See how the lines are clean looking. You have a massive porch area here. This is nice. You can actually put your tables here, your seating arrangement so that when you go back home during the night you can enjoy this porch and look at this guy it's not only that when you're seated here you'll be able to see the mountain views let me expand it so that i can show you the feeling of uh, being here in front of your porch okay guys i expanded it this is how it feels guys Right, so when you're seated here, you'll be able to enjoy this view of the Red Rock Mountain, right? And then there's another mountain view here, right? Lots of mountain views here. Okay, just wanted to uh, let you experience how it is because sometimes the video is on a wide angle. So that's why it's not showing the way it should be. But this is how it looks when you're at your porch okay let's continue the tour okay so now we're gonna enter this home so you have a two store a two store a two door main door right you're gonna get this and then you're also gonna get this very elegant mirror upgraded door which they don't see you from outside right okay welcome to this very bright home one thing you will notice guys when you enter this home is the tall ceiling this is a 10 feet ceiling guys so that is nice right right 10 feet ceiling it did, I, you know this is a long hallway it's also a wider hallway again it doesn't justify in the video because i'm using a wide angle this is a luxury vinyl plank and then also you have a huge wall for all of your art, right? You can make this a uh, wall art gallery so that before entering the main house, you are going to showcase all of your collections here. But this is nice. It has like lighting here. I believe you can change this into a chandelier, right? If you wanted to make uh, if you wanted to make it more luxurious feeling, I would suggest replacing this with a nice chandelier, like three chandeliers in your hallway. Okay, so now before we go there, this might take a while guys because this is a huge house. There's so many bedrooms and also uh, the garage is huge. Okay, so this is the first bedroom, 
right? Facing the house, you're, they're giving this blinds already. So it's also 10 feet. They're giving you that uh, recessed lighting there. Some builders wouldn't put that. This is the carpeted area. It's not, I don't, uh, it's probably upgraded with thicker pad because I can feel it's a little thicker. Hello guys. So then you have this, um, oh wow. It's, it, is a, it is a good size for a secondary bedroom. This is not the typical um, second uh, closet that you will find in a secondary bedroom. It's huge. Okay, now we're gonna go to the bathroom area, right? Oh, I say you already, hi, I thought I forgot to say hi. Okay, so you have a chrome hardware and then you have this sink, right? I don't know if it's soft closing. It is not, I apologize, guys. Okay, you have one recess lighting here, but uh, I'm gonna check if you can put like another recess lighting there if there is a wiring connection. So this is a Jack and Jill type of bathroom. And this is your, uh, you know, like a, it's pretty standard tub area. This is your Profol water sense wa uh, toilet. It has, it meets the EPA criteria, all right. Now the good thing about this flooring is that it's a tile and they've upgraded it. Now this is a nice configuration guys because someone can use their own sink there for the first bedroom we saw and then they can close this so that another person can use this, right? And so the other bedroom we're going to look at all also has its own sink. So the bedroom there has its own sink. The bedroom here on this area has its own sink. So that's a really nice configuration. Hello guys. You don't have to wait upon the other person to use the sink. Okay, so this one is a quartz, very bright white quartz. And, and also uh, a very bright uh, cabinetry. So now we're gonna go to the second bedroom. Wow, there's also a walk-in closet. You're pampering the people here with walk-in closet. Again, guys, this is already with that wiring there, but you can definitely put um, another uh, nightstand there. This is quite the smaller one. The the closet area here, secondary. Yeah, even the bedroom here, I believe this is only 10 by 11. Okay, but I like what I'm seeing on the door. It's eight feet. And then also this one looks, yeah, this looks heavy to me. It's not the usual door you see like hollow. This one is kind of heavy. Okay, so that's good. That means it's thicker in material. Okay, now there is another half bathroom here for your guests. So basically the two bedrooms there, right? One and then two shares one bathroom there with their own separate sink. And then when the guests enter your home, they can use this half bathroom. Now there's a little bit of a kitchen, ca I mean kitchen, cabinetry here, extra for storage, right? Of your books if you want to. So this is the half bathroom. Hello guys, they've used the consistent white quartz here and white sink and also the Moen Chrome hardware. And they use this water sense consistently to save you some water. I like that they use this um, really bright luxury vinyl plank. This is sometimes luxury vinyl plank is much better than a hardwood because they are waterproof and scratch proof so that means if you have a fur baby you won't be disappointed about scratches right when they are you running around because uh, i remember i have a a landlady before when i didn't have my home way back like a long time ago and the hardwood was damaged because of the fur babies right because they have like they run around, but this one I feel like the, you know it might be 
scratch proof. Now we're ready to go to your main living area. Welcome to this massive main living area, guys. This is huge. I don't understand why it doesn't justify in the video, but when you go here, this is massive. Now we're gonna open the lights. Uh, turn on the lights, sorry. We're gonna turn on the lights. Those are your recess lighting there. Now this is one thing I wanted to also show you guys. It almost like a bedroom. This is your pantry area. And this is just simple right now, but once you do this with cabinetry and LED lighting, oh my goodness, this is going to be really good. Because the reason why you have a space for it, right? You can walk, you can hide here, no problem. No one will see you, right? Okay. If you have like a secret door. Oh my gosh, that is huge, it's a huge, uh, pantry it looks they they feel like you have a lot of food to store that's why they put that huge pantry now I measured this a while ago this is about eight feet by five feet right wide long eight feet okay let's check if this is soft closing they've used consistently white quartz it is not sorry about that guys okay so you see how they have uh, this is a little bit different from the quartz we've seen in the bathroom. This one is uh, sparkly. It has that sparkle on it. And then you're getting a sink, right? One sink, very huge. And then this faucet here, Moen. And then they have this tap, right? Tap water. I think that is filtered. Yes, it is. You can just put your uh, filtration system there. But it is, uh, at least you have already a ready uh, tap water to use. And then uh, they haven't installed yet the uh, stove, but they are, they are going to give you a stove with a microwave. And then also the, this one, because those are required under the law. The only thing that typically they don't provide is the refrigerator, which is on this position. The only thing I would mention is this is a little small. It's tall, but it's a little small. You may want to buy those that are very, very easy to, uh, to put here because it has to have a measurement. They've already put it like that. Okay, so I'm here at the corner. I'm going to span like this. So imagine yourself, guys. So this is how it feels, right? That is your television area. And then this is your couch area. And then you will have your dining area here. Right? So this is a nice configuration because once you're having a dinner here, you'll be able to watch TV there. Or I just don't understand why they didn't put the TV there because this one is a much larger space to me. So yeah, they've changed a little bit of a design element there. Now, the good thing about this is you don't see your neighbors. See how you just see the, the roof of your neighbors, right? The, and then they've included this. Okay, so now we're gonna go uh, maybe we'll do the outside as climax because so many dis things to discuss here, guys. Because we still haven't seen your. Uh... Oh, this. Uh, I think I have to turn on the lights. Let's see. Okay, there you go. So basically, this one is the area for your primary bedroom. This is your filter, right? And that's your return. And this is your attic. And then there is something here. It's a linen, oh, it's a coat closet. Now your laundry is huge. This is huge. See how they've already upgraded this with uh, cabinetry here, right? This is the laundry, your laundry machines are going to be, right? So what is in here? Let's see what's in here. This might be it. Oh wow, a side entrance to the garage. 
It's double entrance, guys. Look at this. So they have an entrance there, and they also have an entrance here. This is huge. It doesn't justify it. This is, I think, one of the selling points is the garage. Okay, so let's check out how it feels, right? In this garage, this is long. I don't know if I can even measure this, guys, but let me try. So I'm gonna measure it from there. Okay, so it shows that it's 42.39 feet. Usually you'll get 20 feet, right? But this is 42. Let me try it again to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Yeah, it's about 42.41 feet. Now, I don't know if you can hear me, it's like echoing. <laughs> you can do this as a studio, pretty much. Okay, so let's measure the height. Oh my goodness, this is 17 feet. Wow, okay. I'm doubling the measurement, guys. I want to make sure I do it correctly, right? Okay, so it's really 17 feet. So you have 42.45 long and 17 feet high. And then let's measure the, uh, the width. It's showing as 23.56. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's really 23.5. Okay, so it's about 23.5 wide, 17 feet high, and 42.4 long. This is like, you, if only allowed by the association, you can put like your swimming pool here, no problem. Or you can do this as your ballroom area if you're into ballroom. Right? Let's see if, how it feels when you're opening this, guys. So the one that I mentioned to you that has a different access is this one, right? So this is the side, this is your wall from that. Your, that is your uh, door, and then that is your main living area. So we went inside the garage from that area a while ago, which is the laundry area. And then that is your side entrance there. So this one, usually it's an upgrade, but they've already gave, gave, they gave it to you. Oh, wow. This is wide. This is a wide one. I wasn't expecting this because this is usually not wide, but this is wide. And then you have a, you can do this like a, a long running area for your fur babies. No problem. Okay, let's see the ultimate test. This is the selling point here, guys. Because it's very hard. Nowadays, it's very hard to find this kind of garage, right? But they already are giving it to you. Okay, so let's open this. Okay, so imagine yourself going back home and you have a view of the mountains and you're gonna park your RV here, no problem. This is huge, guys, doesn't justify. So definitely an RV parking, right? Park your RV parking there and then hola, you have this huge space here. See how you also have windows there to bring so much natural light inside. Wow, this is gorgeous. Not gorgeous, but massive, right? It's also gorgeous <laughs> because sometimes people are gonna be surprised how, how big your garage is, right? They'll be like, what? Oh my goodness, this is big. Okay, let's go inside, guys. Don't forget to close your garage, right? See how you have mountain views there? <laughs> Upon entering your house, you see your mountain. 
That is amazing. Wow. Okay, this is definitely the selling point. The, the, huge, the huge garage. Okay, now we're gonna go to your primary bedroom, right? Because we haven't really seen your primary bedroom. This is a pretty good size. Yeah, this is big. It doesn't justify in the video. Now, I wanted to mention they've used a double line edge, I uh, meaning baseboard here, which adds a little bit of a texture there. We're going to go to that uh, area in a while. Let's check for your closet. Okay, so this is not the biggest, but at the same time, it's also very um, spacious, right? Yeah, it's a very spacious one. Okay. And then you have also this one, right? They've given you the blinds. Okay, and then this is your, oh wow, this is huge. Okay, so this is your water closet. Yeah, I turned on the lights. And then, this is the only thing that I hope they would have done better. Again, this is an upgraded quartz. The problem is it's the the floor is not too is basic. So what I would have hoped at least they finish this with a nice tiling there, all the way and then a floor height, uh, ceiling to floor, floor to ceiling height uh, tile to make this pop. Again, you can probably do that later or we'll just negotiate the price so that you have a budget for it. Hello guys. So this one is a long, it's a long sink. You have two sinks, right? Very spacious. All right, okay. Now I did, okay, let me open the, yeah. I, I turned on the lights again to make sure you can see how it feels, right? Okay, so far this is a very good size. The only thing, it's a little boring to me. So what I would do is put like a really darker wall tile design here so that you have your focal point there because so much brightness in here, it lacks a little bit of a dark color, right? Okay, even the floor is bright, okay. But if you like this already, then that means it works, right? You don't have to change anything. If you feel like this is already good enough, then definitely. That is just my advice to make it more uh, interesting, right? If you wanted to make it more brighty, brighty, <laughs> colorful, I mean. Okay, so that's your... Um, Oh yeah, there is a TV connection there because your headboard is going to be on this side and then you put your massive wall design there. That would be amazing. Okay, so now we're going to go to the backyard, right? Okay, so this is a nice configuration, guys, in terms of the bedroom positioning. And the reason why I, told, uh, I mentioned it is because your primary bedroom is all the way there while your secondary bedroom is all the way there. So it's a good configuration if you want privacy of your primary bedroom. Now this is a, I mentioned already, this is a huge blank. This is not justifying on the video, but this is a huge plank. Okay, now we're gonna go to your backyard, which is one of the climax and also one of the selling point. And the reason why I mentioned this is a selling point is because sometimes when you live in this kind of community, I don't know if you see my video below 500K, you can find some single story here. The only issue there is that you don't have a view, right? On those below 500K. That's why this is quite larger in price is because you have, first, first of all, we've seen the garage, right? That is one of the costs of buying this home. Plus, you have this massive patio cover with mountain views, which I will show you in a while. This alone is, is very expensive to do this patio cover. Plus, you have privacy there. 
because you don't see your neighbor at the right side. Also here, when you're standing here, no one will see you except for those that are doing the pickleballs, right? But it's too far already. Okay, so now also you have an entrance here from your bedroom going leading to your garage. Now this is not a pool size on this side, but on this side you can put like a small spool, like a spool, a hybrid of a swimming pool and a spa. We call it spool. And this is the one we entered a while ago. As you can see, this is huge. Meaning wide, the side entrance. So yeah, you can put a, sm a spool here, right? Because you have to have a five feet from the foundation and three feet on each wall side. So this is the view, guys. They can see you if you go all the way here on this side of the backyard. But if you're on this side, they won't see you, right? Because you're elevated. Now, these are the model homes, right? And they are not yet for sale. The one downstairs or down, down there. Okay, so let me expand this, uh, this view, guys, so that you can see how it feels when you're at your backyard. Okay, guys, this is how it feels, right? So you can see that is the clubhouse there. And then you can view a little bit of the strip. It's not showing good today because I don't know why is it, it is cloudy there, somewhere there. Yeah, so when you're standing here, you have views of the mountains, right? Yeah, this is your view, pretty much. Okay. So I'm gonna um, slowly go back. So this is how it feels when you're standing here. That is the strip there. It's hard to see it exactly because uh, of those fl um, trees, right? But there is a view of the mountains. Okay, I think this showed a little bit of how you feel you will feel once you're standing here at your garage. I'm sorry, your, your uh, po uh, patio, your backyard, right? Okay, let's go back to the original setting. Okay, guys, uh, that is um, the view there. Again, this is elevated. That means you don't really have to deal so much with your neighbor. Only if you go further to that area. But if you're standing here, they won't see you. All right. Okay. Please don't forget to comment down below what do you think of this beautiful home. Really appreciate your support to the channel, guys. This channel is growing super fast because of your support. And also don't forget to like, share this video. Because you never know, some people might like this and they needed that kind of garage. And a little bit of a privacy, right? Because when you're doing your thing here, no one can see you. So it's a very private location of the house. Plus it's also near the clubhouse. So you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, accessing the clubhouse. Uh, thank you so much guys. And I appreciate your support. And until next time, have an amazing day today.